Queen has officially welcomed the UK's new £3.1 billion aircraft carrier into the Royal Navy fleet and declaring it the best of British. Her Majesty arrived on board HMS Queen Elizabeth in an elegant purple outfit at Portsmouth Naval Base earlier today. Getty Images Getty 18 Queen Elizabeth II attends the commissioning ceremony of HMS Queen Elizabeth PA Press Association 18 flashing her pearly whites, Her Majesty talks to members of the Aircraft Carrier Alliance PA Press Association 18 HMS Queen Elizabeth, pictured, is Britain's biggest warship, war three pounds. One billion the national anthem was played before she, accompanied by the Princess Anne, were led on board by the ship's commanding officer Captain Jerry Kibb. At 280 meters long, with an estimated half a century working life, the behemoth warship is the biggest and most powerful ever built by the UK. In a speech, the Queen said, like HMS Victory, HMS Queen Elizabeth embodies the best of British technology innovation, a true flagship for the 21st century. The most powerful and capable ship ever to raise the white ensign, she will in the years and decades ahead represent the country's resolve on the global stage. Instagram 18 After the commissioning ceremony, Catherine Jenkins post for a cheeky sailor snap Reuters 18 A cheeky cake at the unveiling had the Queen holding a sign naming the ship after herself Getty Images Getty 18 Queen Elizabeth pictured arriving on board the UK's new aircraft carrier in Portsmouth Getty Images Getty 18 Princess Anne, Princess Royal, accompanied the Queen for the commissioning ceremony of HMS Queen Elizabeth earlier today Pop Press Association 18 Catherine Jenkins was among the 3,700 700 guests gathered in the ship's giant hall for the ceremony Pop Press Association 18 before Her Majesty arrived, Jenkins practiced singing I vow to thee, my country, in the hangar of HMS Queen Elizabeth Getty Images Getty 18 A young girl curtsies to the Queen at the Portsmouth ceremony Pop Press Association 18 Royal Navy ratings in the hangar of HMS Queen Elizabeth at the Splendid Portsmouth ceremony EPA 18 The Queen Adorned in a luxurious purple ensemble, addressed around 3,700 guests Her Majesty made sure to praise the service personnel who will crew the carrier. She added, as the daughter, wife and mother of naval officers, I recognize the unique demands our nation asks of you, and I will always value my special link with HMS Queen Elizabeth, her ship's company and their families. Getty Images Getty 18 The ship has a crew of around 700, that will increase to 16,000 F 35B jets, and Crow's Nest helicopters are embarked. Pop Press Association 18th crew will have access to a chapel, a medical center, and a 12 bed ward staffed with GPs, a nurse, and medical assistants. EPA 18 During her speech, Her Majesty said HMS Queen Elizabeth embodies the best of Brit technology. Pop Press Association 18 ship's captain, Commodore Jerry Kitt, and the Princess Royal. Commodore in Chief, HMNB Portsmouth, stand with Queen Elizabeth II as she takes the salute. Getty Images Getty 18 Princess and Princess Royal accompanied the Queen for the commissioning ceremony of HMS Queen Elizabeth earlier today. Getty Images Getty 18 David Duncan's cake baked especially for Queen Elizabeth. I eyes visited HM Naval Base Pop Press Association 18 Lieutenant. Commander Lindsay Wadubi looks up at the white ensign as it flies at the stern of HMS Queen Elizabeth The Queen received the royal salute as the ensign was raised for the first time on the flight deck, broadcast into the hangar on large screens. An audible sigh of relief could be heard from the ship's company as the ensign, initially slightly entangled, opened out fully and flew freely in the wind. The ceremony was organized to commission the carrier into the fleet. But the Aircraft Carrier Alliance confirmed the Royal Navy had formally accepted the ship on Thursday. Most read news tragic battle terminal cancer dead dies months after DWP deemed him fit to work one punch KO brutal moment traveler knocks out man with single punch in car park brawl Boris Iran mission Boho will visit Iran this weekend to plead for release of jailed Nazan in the Lord Mayor's show The Lowdown on Lord Robert Mayor and the Institution of Civil Engineers eyeing the prize all you need to know about who will win the UK City of Culture 2021 blow by blow who is Feriel MacDoom.
Amir Khan's wife who is back together with the boxer, may can stay Most Tories want to get ditched Theresa May's leader claims George Osborne school bloodbath Two pupils dead at US high school shooting as gunman is killed I can't control him Mum who's chained up her autistic son for 13 years begs for help up the spot Government does impact assessments on drains and TV comedy instead of Brexit Grave offense Sicko has sex with his girlfriend's corpse hoping it would wake her up Love from Theresa Prime Minister reveals her Christmas cards to designed by three schoolgirls this meant the ship had been fully handed over to the Ministry of Defense. A total of 3,700 guests including families and VIPs gathered in the ship's giant hall for the ceremony. Defense Secretary Gavin Williamson also attended to witness the 65,000-ton vessel joining the fleet. Mr. Williamson said, Our new aircraft carrier is the epitome of British design and dexterity, at the core of our efforts to build an armed forces fit for the future. HMS Queen Elizabeth The Royal Navy's largest ever surface warship weighs 65,000 tons and costs £3.1 billion. ITS flight deck is 280 meters long and 70 meters wide, enough for approximately three football pitches. Currently 700 crew are on board, made up of 87 women and 613 men. It took 10,000 people to construct the ship which is made up in sections at warehouses around the UK, but assembled in Razath, 5. The crew have access to a chapel, a medical center, and a 12-bed ward which is staffed with GPs, a nurse and medical assistants as well as a dental nurse and dentist, we pay for your stories. Do you have a story for the Sun Online News team? Email us at tips at the sun.